it has been over two months since I last uploaded anything and I'm happy to say that that's mostly because I've had a lot of interesting things going on in my life which was kind of the goal of starting this YouTube channel was just to build a confidence to want to do things in real life and I think I'm doing pretty good with that. But what I wanted to talk about in this video is... So I was watching this movie where one of the characters was talking to another character. And they were saying something like, Yeah, I, I would go to that. Thing, but then I realized that I hate everyone and I just find people boring. And I heard this a lot from people when I was in high school. And just I would read that a lot on Tumblr. You know, back when Tumblr was a thing. And then... I'm not saying that these people are lying. But... I know I used to feel that way a lot too where people were just uninteresting and I didn't want to hang out around people because I just thought that I, f I felt like I myself was much more interesting than people on their own and after I fully embrace the fact that I have social anxiety and that it is such a big problem for me, I finally realized that I do actually really like people. I just find people to be very frightening. Well, not people, but social interaction, which they're pretty closely related. But anyway, I think that in a lot of cases where people feel that way, that they might actually not like people, but they could be like me where they actually really do. It's just because of social anxiety, they think that they don't like other people because... So, so what I think is that, you know, being social and interacting with other people is really our strength as human beings. You know, we're not super fast or super strong, not compared to other species of animals. So... Working together is really critical for our survival rate. And I think if you own up to the fact that you're not good at that, or if you just let other people know that, then that can really, like in caveman times, that could probably be fatal. But... In today's world, that's just like a, a huge no-no. It's so embarrassing and shameful. And I'm not really sure about all the studies on this and everything. But um, what I think is that if you have social anxiety and even if you, like, admit to yourself internally, not even out loud to other people, um, that's just, since having that is so hard for, it, I mean, like, it, it's not good for our survival and anything. So just admitting that to yourself would 
cause problems for you. And I think your subconscious kind of tries to hide that fact from you. And it makes you honestly, truly believe some other truth that, well, it isn't really the truth. But you believe it so much and you repeat that to yourself so often that you really do think that that's what it is. Like, you know, just using this example, if you tell yourself over and over again that you're not scared of people, you just don't like people and they're not interesting enough for you, then you really start to believe that's the reason that you don't, that you won't interact socially with other people so much instead of what might be more true is you're just really shy and uncomfortable around people. And it took me a long time to really embrace my social anxiety issues and I still haven't really owned up to it in front of other people yet, just to myself and to the internet, which is kind of a strange mix of logically I know there's other people, but it doesn't feel that way because I'm not interacting with people face to face. So that, that does help with getting over my fears of interacting with people a lot. Um, but back to what I was talking about. I think that's probably the biggest and hardest step of social anxiety is just to be able to own up to it yourself that it is such a problem. And you would actually like to be around other people, but you just have this thing blocking your way. And although it'll still take a lot of time after that to get to um not to get over your social anxiety, but just to um, be more confident, but you can't ever start working towards that goal if you will even admit to yourself that you do have a problem, and that's how it is with a lot of things, where just owning up to it is probably the biggest hurdle in the first place. And not everyone does admit to their problems in their lifetimes. So, yeah, those are just some of my thoughts on, you know, not, not liking other people and having social anxiety. So, yeah, that was it for this video. Hopefully it won't be another two months before I post another one, but like I said, I do have a lot of interesting stuff going on, so I guess that's a good and a bad thing.